To date, in the U.S. alone, an estimated 65 million innocent unborn children have been slaughtered in their mother's womb at the cost of our idolatry. Yes, our idolatry. You see, what's at the heart of abortion rights is worship. And by no means the worship of God. Rather, we worship the God of sex so we don't abstain until marriage. We worship the God of ease so we shirk any responsibility. We worship the God of unrestraint so we seek to remove anything or anyone who might restrict us from chasing our own dreams. We worship autonomy so we loudly and proudly proclaim, I will decide what is good and evil for myself. That's what happened in Genesis 3. These are but idols we are sacrificing our children to. Two years ago, when Roe v. Wade was being looked at to be overturned in the Dobbs decision, 500 female athletes filed a petition with the Supreme Court to state their concerns. One of these athletes mentioned how she had accidentally became pregnant. Now, I need to pause and mention, from a Christian perspective, from a Christian worldview, there is no such thing as accidental pregnancy. God didn't make his good gifts of sex and procreation to be divided. Anyway, this athlete goes on to say, I was just starting to succeed in my sport, and I didn't want to take a year off. She mentions that her decision to have an abortion allowed her to take control of her own future, which led to two Olympic gold medals. So worshiping the gods of human autonomy, athletics, and accolades, They came at the high cost of the child in her womb. Unless it seemed like I'm singling out women in this, there was a ungodly, idolatrous male on the other end of this who put her in this position. For most of us, we probably aren't performing our sacrifice at the hands of a physician's knife. But don't be so quick to think that our idols don't come at the high cost of others. Whatever it is that you and I might worship, whether success, sports, sex, or our own perceived sovereignty, they all come at a cost, and not just to ourselves, but to others. And for that reason, God cannot stand by and let it continue indefinitely. Indefinitely. 